In today's video, I'm going to be starting something new. It's a new series that I want to try out. It's editing your photos that you send to me. I'm only going to go through a couple of them. So if you guys want me to continue the series, just let me know in the comments below. Give me some feedback on what I can do to improve the series. Um, without further ado, let's just get right into the photos. So to start off with this image, I upped the shadows and put in some exposure to brighten up the image. I went to the HSL tab and I saw a lot of pinks in the sky so I wanted to really emphasize that and contrast it with more blues. I noticed when zooming into the boats there was a bit of noise so I went to the noise reduction, increased that a small amount until I was satisfied. I came down to the calibration tab and I just wanted to slide the blues and reds a bit more to emphasize the color. I'm just going to throw in a bit of clarity and vibrance, not too much clarity because the water is very soft so I don't want to give it that unnatural look. Now I'm going to throw in a radial gradient but I'm going to invert it because I want to focus on the boats. I want to up the shadows a bit to make them stand out more and desaturate it ever so slightly. We're gonna throw in another radial gradient and I just wanna give it a soft vignette look so I'm gonna decrease the exposure and bring down the saturation just a bit. For the final touches, I just wanted to go back to the HSL and desaturate the greens just to take that all out of the image and go over to my hue slider and increase the purples. So I'm just going to swipe the before and after again. Thank you Mad Viper for sending in this image. It was a lot of fun to work with. Next photo. So for this image I wanted to crop it to an 8x10 because the focus is on the dog. So I'm just going to start with the saturation and increase the red just to match it with the hat that he's wearing. Zooming in onto the eyes I wanted to add a circle mask just to bring out the shadows and highlight the eyes to make them stand out more. I followed the same process over onto the other eye. Now I just want to brighten up the image a bit by upping the shadows and exposure but bringing down the highlights. I just wanted to take out the color that's on the house and bring up the reds a bit more as I found it a bit more washed out orange. After looking at the image I wanted to crop it in just a bit more because I found the background not very interesting. I'm going to make a small curve adjustment just to give the image a bit more contrast. So now I'm going to bring this photo into Photoshop. I found the string kind of distracting to the image so I wanted to remove it by using the patch tool and painting in the background just to blend it out a bit more. For the last bit I cloned stamped his fur over top of the string to get rid of it. I noticed some white bits in the hat so I used the spot healing brush to remove that. To finish off this image I made a black solid and added a radial mask, took out the center and added a Gaussian blur. So here is the before and after image. Thank you ETK for sending in this image. It was fun to work with this kind of subject. Moving on. So for this next image, I don't want to bore you guys on how I went through the process of editing the photo in Lightroom. Uh, it's basically just the same thing sort of upping the shadows, bringing out the details and everything and changing the color to the appropriate feel that I want to give my uh, viewers. I'm just going to let the video play through and you guys can watch on how I edited the photo. I also brought it back into Photoshop because I wanted to bring in some light rays beaming through the window and adding in a fake sun just on the top left corner and I went into the brush tools and I actually have a brush that kind of looks like particles so I wanted to put that into the image as it looks like the building is a bit more dirty and grungy so I thought adding that would give it a more environmental feeling. So now I'm just gonna let the video play through and you guys can just sit back and watch. Thank you Kazayas for submitting this awesome photo, it was so much fun to work with and I hope you like the final edit. So looking at the raw image, honestly to me it doesn't need that much, it's already a cool image just on its own but I just wanted to add a bit more elements just to bring out the image more. I started with um, applying one of my presets that I actually made using the avatar and I wanted to pull back some of the reds to add more orange haze to it. Um, in the sky, I started with a blue that I wasn't really a fan of, so I desaturated that and I feel like the image came together pretty well. Thanks Remy for the submission. I tried giving it a Stranger Things vibe. I hope you can see that in the image. Again, thanks man. 
For this next image, I put on the summer preset. I know looking at it, it's very vibrant in the oranges, so I desaturated that and I saw in the car there was a bit of blue tone, so I took that right out. I then grabbed the gradient tool and I wanted to contrast the ground to the car, so I added just a bit of clarity and I brought the exposure down a little bit. Finishing off this image, I grabbed a circle mask and I wanted to do the vignette look and I wanted to crop in the image just a bit more and this is my final image. Thanks Dean for your submission, I encourage you to take more car photos because this one came out beautifully. Good job man. For this last image, I didn't want to have too much color into the scene so I desaturated the green fence and just having the more browns and warm tones more emphasized in the photo. Great work, Leo. I hope to see you enter next week's episode. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has submitted their photos. It was a lot of fun editing some of them. Um, if you guys like this series, I'll try and continue it. This is really new to me and I don't know how it will actually turn out. So just let me know in the comments below. I'll try and change how I edit everything. Um, so I wanted to do this each week and basically so I'm going to open up the farms on Monday and it'll run through Thursday night and then Friday and Saturday is when I'll do the editing. So let me know if you guys enjoy this and I'll continue the series and because it was actually a lot of fun. It was cool to see everyone's photos. Um, I'll try and edit a bit more than six that I did for this series. So again, submit on Mondays and I will go through them. Hopefully I'll see your photos in the next episode. Hello,